In a bustling town, two young boys, Robert and Mike, dream of escaping the ordinary. Robert, with his bright mind and curious spirit, feels trapped in the classroom, yearning for more. Mike, influenced by his unconventional father, Rich Dad, challenges the status quo, questioning the traditional path to wealth. Why do we spend all day at school learning things that won't make us rich? My dad says the same thing. He says school teaches you to work for money, not make it work for you. Like a hamster on a wheel. Work for money? What does that even mean? Robert's question sparks a conversation that will change their lives. As they delve deeper, Rich Dad emerges as their unconventional guide, offering a different perspective on wealth and success. My dad works so hard every day, but we never seem to have enough money. Is that what working for money means? My dad says it's like trading your time for someone else's dream. He wants us to build our own dreams, where money works for us instead. The boys navigate contrasting worlds. Robert observes his hardworking father, caught in the traditional system, while Mike witnesses Rich Dad's unconventional approach, building wealth through assets and calculated risks. The Rich Dad sees Robert and Mike. Ah, there you both are. Come, I have something to show you. Most people are stuck in the rat race, working for money that just disappears. They think their house is an asset, but it drains their money. Assets put money in your pocket, like businesses or rental properties. So how do we get those? My boy, that is something. You need to figure out using your skills and potential. Robert and Mike set up a lemonade stand in Mike's backyard and decide to start their very own business. Soon enough, money starts to pour in. This is fun, but it's hot work. Remember, we're not just making lemonade. We're learning to be business owners, just like your dad's boss. But instead of working for him, we're making our own money. The rich dad then guides them about the stock market. Stocks are like tiny pieces of companies. When they do well, your piece becomes more valuable. It's like owning a tiny part of a lemonade stand that sells all over town. Robert and Mike visit the library and develop the interest of reading finance books. I'm learning so much. This is way better than memorizing dates in history class. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to money. The more we learn, the better equipped we'll be to build our own financial freedom. Young Robert grows up, working in various businesses, investing in properties, and building wealth. Rich Dad, Poor Dad doesn't promise instant riches, but it offers valuable lessons. By shifting your mindset, learning the rules of money, and taking calculated risks, you can build your own financial freedom. If you enjoyed this story, like this video, share it with friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more such impactful animated stories.